Hey y'all, Heidi here, Vinny and Buzz .com. It is day two in the VEDA challenge, which means I am vlogging every day in August. So here I am vlogging for you. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my protein intake because everyone has been asking me lately on Instagram and Twitter and I love answering the question but I think this would be nice to have a video for you too that you know where do you get your protein you're eating all these fruits and you know like eight bananas in a sitting and where are you getting your protein and that's what I'm going to talk to you about today and the thing is you know I'm going to talk to you about where I get my protein but the thing is I think what so many people get hung up on is you know how much protein you need and that's the first question I want to ask people is well how much protein do you really think you need and I don't think most people would know that answer and the statistics actually show and I hate saying statistics but that's what it comes down to numbers don't lie um, the US government actually recommends that 10 to 35 percent of your caloric intake be protein and I know that's a very wide range but actually it's a pretty low percentage if you think about it 10 to 35 percent and you know it's very hard to consume more than 20% of your your intake be, to be protein and there's only about 5% of Americans that exceed the 21% protein and those are really like heavy bodybuilders and things like that and there are many bodybuilders that don't uh, you know consume this amount of protein and they still succeed so that's something to keep in mind too but the average American actually only you know consumes about 16% of their calories from protein or 16% of their calories is protein so once again it's a low percentage and people don't people probably don't realize that now you know obviously the percentage is lower than probably most people would would think but where do I get my protein and I think it depends or I know it depends on how I'm eating you know sometimes I'm 100% raw and that's actually what I strive to be most of the time and sometimes I'm not so when I'm not raw I would say that you know I, I do eat a lot of beans and things like that so that's that's something I keep to keep in mind as I eat a lot of beans and different things like that to to have my protein be decent now when I'm raw it's a little bit different story um, I am still getting my protein because I'm getting them through green leafy vegetables which I can get those through um, when I'm not raw too but you know green leafy ve vegetables for instance uh, spinach is about 30% protein or 30% of its calories are from protein so um, once again you, you don't think that that's really high but that compared to eggs eggs is only 37% so there's only a 7% difference between spinach and eggs so that's something to, to consider you know once again you don't think protein green leafy vegetables but now you do so like I said you know people freak out about the protein thing and it's just like chill it's all good don't worry about it and lastly what I'd like to say because I, this is getting way too long is that um, when I do especially when I'm raw especially when I'm 100% raw I weigh and measure all my food and I actually log it into a computer software program called chronometer c-r-o-n-o-m-e-t-e-r it's free online and I actually log everything into there and it shows me what my ratio to calories and nutrients and vitamins and carbs and protein and fat everything so I know I'm getting the proper nutrition so like I said if you're smart about it you're good to go and I try to be as smart about it as I can so that is where I get my protein if you have any questions or comments or anything like that make sure you comment below and I will see you tomorrow keep smiling be grateful talk to you later